Today, we'll be taking a look at the electronic control on this LG front load washing machine. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, you must first remove this top here. Of course, it is held on by two Phillips screws on the back. Next, be very careful. Let's slide this sharp metal off. Lift it up and set it to the side. Now that we have the top panel removed, we have clear access to our electronic control here. Now the main reason why you'd be replacing your electronic control would be if one of your components, such as your drain pump, is not running or the unit is not spinning. Usually what would happen is, is the relay will stop sending power down to your component. So if you go to one of the components and test your voltage and it doesn't have it, there's a high probability your electronic control is bad. Now to remove your electronic control, there is one screw at the top that'll have to be removed. Just use a Phillips screwdriver, take it out. Let's get that out, set it to the side. We are going to remove this strain reliever here just to get it out of the way. Just untwist it. Now, what I want to do is there's a tab right here that is holding the control in. You'll lift it and pull it to the side. As so. Once we get it there, we have to pull it out. Now, obviously, it's a little trickier than it looks. So you actually lift up and pull out. Now take it right off there. Next, we have a little strain reliever we have to pop off on the bottom. Use the tack puller. Just pull that blue strain reliever out. That'll just give us a little bit more play. Next, let's start to lift up on the casing. There are these little clips that are kind of holding it on. And use something small to get in between it just to kind of separate, as so. Let's lift that up and over. I keep pulling this off here. Now inside, you have your main control. What you'll want to do is, because this is kind of attached on the bottom, is I would recommend going through and disconnecting every single Molex. So let's start with the yellow. And each one of these lock in some way. There's some type of locking tab. So make sure you look on every one of them when you're pulling them out to make sure you're disconnecting correctly. Last two over here. Pull that one out. We have one more. This one's a little harder to get to that tab. So I'm going to use a pair of pliers to pinch and pull at the same time. Pull out your control and set it to the side. When installing your new control, first we're going to put it in place. As you remember, there's not a whole lot of room in here. So I'm going to get it in the right spot. 
and then start reconnecting our molexes. Start with the bottom. Go to the top and the side here. Next, each one of these are color coded. So start to pop them in place. Black with black, yellow with yellow. Now that we have all of our Molexes in, go tuck in the bottom. As long as you have it in the correct placement, you should just be able to pinch it together, clip it back in place. Let's move our harness around this side. And of course, we have these holes that correspond with these kind of tabbed anchors on the control. Line it up, and then we will have to lift it up a little bit because it has to meet in with the track. Slide it over, it should clip in place. Let's go ahead and tie this wiring back on here. That blue strain reliever, as long as it's not damaged, pop it into place. Lastly, install the Phillips screw that we took out previously. Now we can reinstall the top panel. When reinstalling your top panel, be very careful. We don't want to slice and dice. Let's go ahead and sit it down. You'll want about an inch away from the front. That's where it actually drops down. And then you can slide it forward and it should match up with the front. Let's reinstall the two screws on the back. and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.